Hi, this is Eric with Home Network Central, and I'm going to show you how to reset your Tenda router to factory default settings. Basically, what that's going to do is it's going to erase any kind of passwords or settings or anything on there that you don't want, or maybe it's confusing you or is messing up something you're trying to do. If you forgot a password for something, this process is going to reset everything back to normal how it was when you first got it new from the store. So. Forgive me, I don't have my stand set up properly on this one. But uh, the first thing you want to do is plug in your router. Uh, your model might be different, but this one plugs in right here. And this one also has a power button, so you want to make sure it's turned on. So it's turned on, and now you see it's booting up. Just make sure you can see the lights there. So you see the lights are turning, starting to turn on, it's booting up. So what we're going to do is there's a button on here that we're going to press and hold for at least 15 seconds and that is going to do the trick so the button if you look on well if it was on the stand properly which, which i just don't have it installed right now because i'm just doing this real quick um it's going to be on the top so wherever the wherever the antennas are it's up here so you see there's a little hole here that says rst and it's like, a, it's like a hole, there's a button in there, but they make it hard to press on purpose, so you can't really just accidentally press it because it resets everything. And that might mess some people up, so they make it a little bit difficult. Uh, so what you do is you get a sharp object and just kind of put it in that hole and hold the button down. So it's gonna be like a pencil or a pen, or I do other videos on other routers and I use a fork, but this time I've upgraded to a paper clip. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to prop my camera up here just so I can show you that little reset hole, you're going to, pre you're going to push your sharp object, hopefully that comes up clear, you're going to push that object into that hole and there's a button down there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you the lights to show you what happens. So we're going to be watching, if your lights don't show up, if you don't see your lights, the, the lights aren't what matters. The, what matters is how long you hold the button down for. But the lights do change to kind of confirm that it, the reboot, uh, the reset uh, function is taking place. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hold this in here. And I'm going to start pressing it. So watch the lights. Start pressing it starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. See, I, I probably count a little bit slow, but I was about 12 to 15 seconds. Now you see the lights are changing, so I can let go of that button. And now the router is going to reset and it's going, it removes any settings on here. Any passwords, any settings that you had, they're all being removed, just like you got it brand new out of the box. And you're, you might have a different model or something, but basically every router works the same. You plug it into power, you find that reset button, you hold it in for at least 15 seconds and you let go of it, and that's, that's how you do it. If this helped you out, please give me a big thumbs up and thank you so much for watching.